Hello, dear students. Welcome to our online lesson. Today we are going to continue our virtual journey to Australia. Do you know that Australia is called the most extraordinary country in the world? Today we are going to learn why. Let's start with new vocabulary. Extraordinary. What is extraordinary? It's something which is very unusual. Extremely. Extremely to a very great degree. To serve. I am sure you know this verb. To serve and the adjective surfing. The verb to lay, laid, laid means to put somebody or something down. To resemble means to look like someone or something. For example, the famous Australian koala animal resembles a teddy bear. A bush is a low plant which is smaller than a tree. For example, a rose bush. Graceful means having an attractive shape or form. Now let's learn the names of some animals and birds. Of course, the most famous animal is kangaroo, a duck bill or a platypus, the next famous Australian animal, an emu, the bird that can't fly, an echidna, or a spiny ant eater. This animal resembles a hedgehog, doesn't it? An eucalyptus. It's a tree. The leaves of eucalyptus tree is food for koala bears. A kookaburra, the famous Australian bird. It's famous for its laughter. And the lyre bird. A cockatoo is a kind of Australian parrot. Now let's uh, make this exercise match the words and definitions. There are eight new words and eight definitions. So extraordinary, extremely, to serve, to lay, to resemble, a bush, graceful and bushy. Find the definitions of these words. Well, I'm going to show you answers. If you're not ready, you may stop the video and continue doing exercises. Now the answers are extraordinary, something that is very unusual, extremely very large, to surf, to ride on the top of the big wave lying on a surfboat, to lay, to put something down carefully, to resemble, to look like a bush, a low plant, graceful, attractive, and bushy, very thick. Now let's start our journey. Australia is the hottest place in the South Hemisphere. In July, the average temperature is from 12 to 20 degrees and in December from 20 to 30 degrees above zero. So during the Christmas holidays people often sunbathe on the beach or swim and uh, surf in the ocean. Though Australia is the hottest country uh, in the southern hemisphere and 
most parts of Australia do not receive enough rain, it uh, has an extraordinary collection of birds and animals. Many of them are found only in Australia. Early explorers were so surprised uh, by the emu and the kangaroo that they described the continent as the land where birds ran instead of flying and animals hopped instead of running. Of course, the most famous Australian animal is kangaroo. There are more uh, than 40 different kinds of kangaroos in Australia in many different colors and sizes. The big red kangaroo and the grey kangaroo may be as tall as a grown-up man. Some kangaroos are about the size of a large dog. The smallest kangaroo is the red kangaroo. It's interesting that kangaroos can hop around quickly on two legs or walk around slowly on all four, but they can't walk backwards. Kangaroos can jump very high, sometimes three times their own height, and these animals can swim. Emu. Emus are the second largest bird in the world. They can grow up to two meters tall. They live between 10 and 20 years in the wild. They are covered in soft, fluffy feathers. They have two sets of eyelids, one for blinking and the other for keeping the dust out. The platypus. The platypus has a broad tail and dark brown fur. They live in streams, rivers, tropical forests. Platypus is an outstanding swimmer and it spends most of its time in water, searching for food. It dives into the water for as long as 30 seconds and then come to the surface to breathe. This animal sleeps 14 hours a day. Sometimes this animal is called a duckbill. Echidna or a spiny anteater. This animal has sharp spines and likes to eat ants. Echidnas don't have any teeth. They eat mainly ants and mosquitoes. This animal has an excellent sense of hearing and smell, but poor eyesight. It runs and climbs well. Koala, the next symbol of Australia. Koalas are mainly active at night. They don't usually need to drink, as they get water from eucalyptus leaves. They spend most of the time in eucalyptus trees and eat only the leaves of these trees. Koalas only need to drink water on extremely hot days. They have very sharp claws, which help them climb high into the trees. They live for 10, 15 years, and they are not allowed to be kept as pets. Dingo. Dingoes have bushy tails, and they are covered with yellowish hair. They live in sandy deserts and all kinds of forests. They are about 50 centimeters tall and about 120 centimeters Long. Kookaburra. These birds are found in open woodland areas. 
this uh, bird is so famous in Australia uh, that uh, they even made up a song about it. Kookaburra is a member of the kingfisher family, but they don't eat fish. They use their large beaks to catch snakes, lizards, small birds, mice and insects. They don't laugh because they see something funny. They love to mark their territory. Graceful live birds. These birds are called so because of their tails. Their tail resembles a lyre musical instrument. It's interesting that you can see this bird on, the, on its Australian coin. The next birds are colored parrots and the great white cockatoo. Cassavary is the largest bird in Australia by weight and the second largest by height. It has a large body covered with bushy black feathers. Its long neck is bright blue and on the top of the head is a large bony crown. Tasmanian Devil Tasmania is the only place where these animals are found in the wild. They are usually about the size of a small dog. Their name makes Tasmanian Devil sound scary, but they are actually quite shy. The name devil may come from the sounds they make. They grow while searching for food at night. The other famous animals are wombat, sugar glider, quoll and nomad. Some animals uh, were brought to the country by the Europeans and have become wild in Australia. These are the buffalo brought from India and the European rabbit. Buffaloes were brought to the North Coast as work animals early in the 19th century. Now they inhabit the swampy river valleys around Darwin. Rabbits were brought more than 100 years ago. Now, let's sum up what have we learned about Australia. Let's make this test. Find the right answer and then I will tell you if you are right or not. Let's start doing this text together. The continent nearest to Australia is Asia. Please don't forget to say your answers loudly. In Australia, winter comes in July. Australia's population is about 18 million people. New Zealand is to the east of Australia. The koala resembles a teddy bear. Australia is divided into six states and two territories. Melbourne is the capital of what state? Well, Victoria. Sydney is the capital of New South Wales. Tasmania is called the Apple Isle. One of the few places on Australia that have enough rain all year is Tasmania and the bushy country rings with kookaburras 
laughter. Now time for listening. Test six, final, life. Now let's listen to the text life in Australia and put the tick in the right column. Read please the statements. In Australia, people like to spend a lot of time in their gardens. Australians love sports. Tennis is the most popular sport in Australia. Young people in Australia speak about Britain as their home. It never snows at Christmas in Australia. Young people in Australia are more interested in Britain than in their own country. So let's start listening. In Australia. In Australia, the weather is warm, so naturally people spend a lot of time outside. Although there are flats in cities, most people like to live in a house of their own with a garden. Families spend hours in their gardens, growing flowers and vegetables, playing and having meals and often swimming. Playing and watching sport is a very important part of life in Australia. Water sports are especially popular. In Australia, 75% of the population live not more than 80 kilometers from the coast. So almost everyone learns to swim and surfing and sailing are also popular. Australia has had several top tennis players and it has had international success in many other sports. English is the main language in Australia. There you can find very English place names like Brighton or Liverpool. Some old people still talk about home and mean Britain. At Christmas you can buy and send Christmas cards with pictures of snow, although the temperature may be 25 degrees and people are going to spend Christmas Day at the beach. But things are slowly changing. Young Australians today are often more interested in their own country than in Britain on the other side of the world. In the 21st century, will Australia still remember Britain? Or will it be just another foreign country? Only time will answer this question. Uh, the next exercise is make words from these two parts. You can see the first example, auto and mobile, automobile. So combine these two parts and make words. The next exercise is match the words in the two columns. For example, lay, we can see lay the table. Uh, then use the words combinations to complete the sentences. So write please exercises two, three, four and five. Thank you for your attention. See you. Goodbye.